Hello there, Mad Mike here, and welcome back to the channel. Uh, and today we're going to go over a story that's actually been developing over the past couple of days, and this is something that this is something that shouldn't have ever been addressed. This is something that should have been immediately ignored as something that is stupid and, and not even worth the time. But because it is starting to blow up into a thing, um, I unfortunately am going to make a video about it. Um, now, this started um, with the movie The Witches. Now, for those of you who are familiar with it, I haven't actually seen the film. I'm not judging the film um, on its merits at all on this. This is just simply something that people are being outraged about for what appears to be no reason. Um, and that is that Anne Hathaway's character in the movie, who she plays a witch, has a physical difference where she has three clawed fingers on each hand and it's supposed to you know look scary and stuff like that she has something with her mouth too where she can do like kind of like a a, a joker thing where like the mouth opens and there's more teeth and stuff like that um but people got uh uncharacteristic well i shouldn't say uncharacteristically in this day and age but um they got offended um because of the way that her hands look, because they said that basically her her hand she it, it was offensive to people that have only three fingers on their hands. This is ridiculous, um, and I'm going to read the statement um, from the uh, disability advocate who posted this on who posted it on Twitter. Um, the uh, I'm going to read a quote from her, and then I'm also going to read the apology that Warner Brothers put out, an explanation that Warner Brothers put out, and at least some of the apology that Anne Hathaway put out, since it is rather long. Um, so let's jump into the first one, which is the first tweet from the woman. Her uh, th now, This is off of Twitter. She is uh, described as a disability advocate. Her name is Shannon Crossland. Um, is this the kind of message we want the next generation to receive, that having three fingers is a witch's attribute? Is it, it is an extremely damaging portrayal. Uh, disability should not be associated with evil, abnormality, disgust, fear, or monsters. Now, to break down what that is, um, it's very, very simple. You see, if you have children or younger people that are somehow upset by the fact that maybe they have a physical deformity that matches something that a character that an antagonist in a film has all you need to do is explain to them that the film isn't real it's really that easy just be a parent and explain to the child that no you're not evil for having this it's a movie it's not real that witches are not real. This is a movie about something that is fucking fictional. Um, I, I can't believe people are actually having this argument, or it must be a really slow fucking news day in the entertainment industry. I mean, it probably is, but still. Um, now, uh, going down to HBO, uh, or not HBO, um, uh, Warner Brothers and uh, I think HBO Max um, conjointly made this, but I think it was Warner Brothers. Um, and this is the explanation. In adapting the original story, we worked with designers and artists to come up with a new interpretation of the cat-like claws that are described in the book. It was never the intention for viewers to feel that the fantastical non-human creatures were meant to represent them. And that's the key there. Non-human creatures. It may look like a person because it's, the character is being played by Anne Hathaway, who is a human being, but it is not meant to represent actual people. And I believe that statement because I don't think anybody on this production deliberately went out to make fun of disabled people. It's not like they actually said in the movie, if you have this trait, then you're evil. Or, I, I don't actually know that, but I'm assuming that probably isn't the thing. They didn't go meta and point at the audience and say, you're evil if you have three fingers. Um, I think this is outrageous and stupid, um, if I hadn't made that evident already. Um, but, you know, then it, the, and th that happened a couple days ago, both of those statements, uh, roughly around the same time, uh, on November 4th. Um, now, on the, today, uh, there has also been a statement put out by Anne Hathaway, um, 
which goes a little bit further, and I'll read that as well. And again, this is uh, this is a direct quote. Um, I have recently learned that many people with limb differences, especially children, are in pain because of the portrayal of the high grand high witch in The Witches. Let me begin by saying I do my best to be sensitive to the feelings and experiences of others, not out of some scrambled PC or politically correct fear, but because not hurting others seems like a basic level of decency we should all be striving for. As someone who really believes in inclusivity and really, really detests cruelty, I owe you all an apology for the pain caused. I am sorry I did not connect limb difference with the Grand High Witch when the look of the character was brought to me. If I had, I assure you this never would have happened. Exactly. None of this was intentional. Nobody intentionally meant to make fun of disabled people. Uh, or people with physical deformity, specifically in the hands. Um, it's meant to be horrifying beca because it's it, it's supposed to be a witch. So yes, the physical deformity is a little bit, you know, messed up when you actually see it in the film. And I I've seen pictures of it. I, again, I haven't seen the film, but I have seen pictures of the actual uh, screenshots of her with the the fake hands. And yeah. It doesn't look like a person's hands. It doesn't look like a person where two fingers have been chopped off and they just have a thumb, uh, an index finger, and a pinky. That's not what it looks like. It looks like something that like an animal would have, like claws, which is what it's supposed to be. But for some reason, and again, I don't know why, people seem to think that if anything in a film seems to resemble something in real life, that it must be offensive to it, or it must be referencing it, or it must be something like this, or you have to be able to to, the two have to be one. I'm sorry, it's a fictional movie. And like I said, all you need to do is just tell your kids that it's not real. The same thing you tell them when they watch a scary movie and they have nightmares. Or are you going to go blaming that on the studio too, that your kid had a nightmare because they watched a horror movie? Again, that's the desired fucking effect. But th th this is just something that's dumb. It's something that is being brought up and run with, I think, because there's a very, very, very slow news cycle in terms of entertainment news right now. Although, I will say this, there is a couple of things that have popped up in the last few days that I think they probably could have run with instead. Um, but this is what happens, and, and I'm telling you, I'm... I'm, I'm doing a little bit of a prediction here on what's going to happen next in this, because you've already had an apology, a semi-apology from Warner Brothers and HBO Max. You've already had this uh, more, uh, I guess, more wordy apology and more, I, I think, sincere, because I think Anne Hathaway might actually feel bad about that. I, I think she's kind of genuine. I, I like her as an actress. Um, but again, I think that, that that was probably the bad move. I'd like it, it, It's right to say that, like, look, we didn't mean to offend anybody with this. That wasn't our intention. It's not, it, in, like Warner Brothers said, it's a non-human character. It's not meant to be a person. It's a witch. It's different. Um, and for somebody to misconstrue that, like, okay, so, so now we have another situation in this. Because now I'm more curious about... Um, if any kids were actually traumatized by this, or if they were just afraid of it. Uh, because that, that's the other thing. It's like, if you're afraid of it, okay, then just, again, same same scenario. Just tell them it's not real. It's a movie. It, it's it's not... That, witches do not exist in real life. Uh, at least not of uh, how they seem to be portrayed. Um, you know, people can't just morph and change their bodies at will. That would, that would be kind of weird if we could, but... Um, that's not the case. Um, and this is yet just another thing. You know, it, we can go all the way back to the whole the rub and tug incident where Scarlett Johansson was supposed to be playing um, a trans person and they got pissed about that and that movie wound up getting pulled. Uh, we can go back to a bunch of other stuff uh, that has happened over the years where people have said that, that, that the portrayals are offensive because you don't have the actual, uh, you don't have an actual person that fits what that character is supposed to be in the role. Um, yet, for some reason, they're willing to race swap every character that they can think of if they're white. That's actually kind of funny to me. Um, but they, they, they get their panties in a bunch when, uh, when you know, something like this happens. Uh, which, again, I, I still believe that none of it was intentional. Uh, but that's just, 
you know, that's kind of my feelings on this. I feel like this is stupid. I feel like this is reactionary. I feel like this is somebody who's just trying to get it. These are people who are just trying to get attention. Um, and they are getting it. Um, and I don't think they deserve that attention, at least not for this reason. You know, I think that you should give attention to people that have physical deformities in terms of, you know, in terms of, of not... How, how do I put this exactly? I think that they, we should be accepting of people that have physical deformities. I don't think that should be something that, you know, we shouldn't be shunning people. This isn't the dark ages where you pelt somebody with stones because they look different because, you know, the, the devil mutated them or something. Um, you know, we should be accepting of those people. But at the same time, it's a movie. It's a piece of entertainment. It's a piece of fiction. Uh, I don't think we should be applying real-world rules to a piece of fiction. Now, it would be different if, at some point in the movie, Anne Hathaway points one of her three fingers at the camera and says, if you have three fingers, you're an evil witch. Because um, <laughs> that's kind of talking to the audience in, in a very direct manner. Um, but I don't think that's the case in the movie. I very much doubt that is the case in the movie. Um, because all they're talking about, really, is the portrayal, is the, the, the physical uh, portrayal of the character. Um, but that's what I think. I want to know what you think, though. Put in the comments below. Do you think this is an overreaction like I do and it's kind of stupid or maybe it's an attention grab? Uh, do you think that the Anne Hathaway and Warner Brothers and HBO Max were right to apologize for this or not? Um, like I said, usually put, put your thoughts in the comments below. I like to read them. Uh, hit the bell for notifications. Hit the like button. Subscribe. And remember, I live my life free of compromise. Do you?